What is going on everyone? My name is Hunter, and today I'll be doing a new series called News Flash. I'll maybe doing it once a month and all it is is talking about the news stories that relate pretty much relate to my channel or I find interesting. And three topics I'll be talking about today is Call of Duty Ghost, Xbox 720 and Steam games on the next gen console. I'll have the a picture relating to the three stories so you can click the annotation on screen to take you to that part of the video and that's how I'm gonna ha be having it run from now on and so let's get straight into it Call of Duty Ghosts we know that Call of Duty Ghosts released a reveal trailer just over a week ago and there has been a lot of speculations and rumors about this but what we know so far is that it'll be having a brand new engine and my speculation is the brand new engine will be only on the next gen console because why would they go to all the trouble to recode a new engine when they already have the old engine for the old Xbox and the old consoles so that's my pick on the new engine it's going to be for the next gen consoles only and if they do release it on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 we're going to be seeing the the old engine sadly but I hope they do kind of bring that new engine over, but I don't think they will. We also know that there'll be a new story, which there's a new story in every Call of Duty game, but what we haven't seen for a long time is a new setting and a new cast. This ushers in a new, a brand new Call of Duty game and a brand new story and maybe even new sequels and stuff like that. And all we know is that this will be revealed at the Xbox reveal on May 21st, where we'll see gameplay and other stuff like that. Now this leads me to my next topic today, which is Xbox 720. Originally this is codenamed Xbox Durango. The retail names, they haven't picked one yet or haven't publicly announced one, but other names that have gone around is the Xbox 720 the Xbox Infinity or the Xbox Fusion and some people have gone to say it is going to be the just the plain Xbox. This will be revealed on Tuesday, May 21st, 10 a.m. Pacific time. It will, it will be a live stream on Xbox.com and the Xbox dashboard and if you are in, in United States or Canada you can catch it on Spike TV. Hopefully we'll be seeing the Kinect 2.0 revealed. There has been a quite a lot of stuff on the Kinect 2.0 and I've heard that it's going to be so powerful that it can detect eye movement and like always I'll leave all my sources for information down below so I'm not just talking bullshit to you you can actually read them for yourself they're mostly articles and stuff like that and the Xbox 720 or the next gen console price will be around 500 for the stock version you probably have to be paying more for more memory just like the old xboxes and hopefully you'll be released around november because why would they show off call of duty ghosts if the next gen console is not going to be out for ghosts so they'll probably align call of duty and xbox around the same time and this expected games these are only expected games that caught my out you can see the whole link the whole list of expected games in the link down below. There's Halo 5, Call of Duty Ghost, Forza 5, Destiny, which is the new shooter from Bungie, and Doom 4. Those are the games that I'll be looking forward to the most, and these are probably the games on release. And this brings in my next topic, which is Steam games on the next gen console. It has been rumored that the next gen console or the next-gen Xbox console will be running on Windows 8 just minus all the desktop applications and stuff like that so for PC gamers who haven't or PC developers that haven't ported their you can easily port them over because of the Windows compatibility they just need to enable controller support and you have your PC game on your Xbox and this this could be a potential COD killer if they do bring in PC games into the consoles. So, well, this wraps up the video for today. Hope you enjoyed the new series. 
All the sources can be viewed in the description below. Just click on the link and it'll take you to where I got this information from. Hopefully, we'll see more news to come. I'll be covering E3 and the Xbox reveal when it happens first in. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.